God bless you, my beloved. Thank you for joining us today. We are Abundant Grace Church. I'm Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I'm the senior pastor of the church. For prayer or information concerning our ministry, please email me at abundant.grace at att.net. My message title today is For or Against. I will be reading from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 9, verses 38 through 41. John said to him, Teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him, because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not stop him, for no one who does a mighty work in my name will be able soon afterward to speak evil of me. For the one who is not against us is for us. For truly, I say to you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you belong to Christ will by no means lose his reward. My beloved John and the other disciples are really concerned about people having the right credentials, aren't they? They meet a guy doing miracles in the name of Jesus, and the first thing that comes to mind is protecting their turf. You are not one of us, they think, and so they start scolding him, yelling and complaining, trying to shut him down. Never mind the miracles. Never mind the fact that people are being set free from the power of evil spirits. Never mind the glory this is bringing to Jesus' name. All they can see is that this guy isn't one of them. And so, he must be an enemy. We can be like that also at times. Maybe there's a church down the street with a ridiculous sounding name and bad taste in music. Or maybe someone shows up to church with multicolored hair, body piercings, and a load of tattoos. Or maybe it's just the opposite. A person comes in who dresses and behaves so perfectly that they remind us irresistibly of that middle class school teacher who terrified us, whatever it is. They're not like us, and we reject them by natural reflex. But Jesus puts the brakes on. He says, wait a minute. The one who is not against us is for us. After all, it would be very hard to do miracles in the name of Jesus and then turn right around and say something rotten about him. There will be some very odd characters in the kingdom of heaven. We have been warned of that, and some of them are people we would normally walk right past, but Jesus doesn't. And that's a good thing for all of us, because we all have something that makes us rejectable, unworthy, even unwanted. If somebody knew the truth about us, wow, what would they be saying about us? But Jesus looks beyond our faults and sees our needs. Thank God that he looks on the inside and not on the outside. God looks right at us in all our mistakes and sin and oddity, and he calls us to belong to him just the same. He sends his son Jesus to live and die and to rise again for us, even us, so that we also can be God's people. The door of God's kingdom is open even to the odd people, even to the ones who don't fit in, and even to us. And because Jesus has made us God's own, we can welcome one another as brothers and sisters, no matter how odd we are. I beloved, I pray that one day you will be able to see others as God sees them. Let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, help us to look at our neighbors, all of our neighbors, and to see the much-loved people whom you died and rose for. Help us to see clearly and not to be prejudiced or to oppose someone because of their color, where they come from, or their nationality. Thank you, Father, for your blessings today and for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, my beloved, and have a great day.